everybody. Welcome to another episode of Rebel Sides with the Show. If you need me to slow that down, it's what's up, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Rulo's Road to the Show. All right, and this is not a great start here. Hey, go get it. Hey, go toss it on in there, Andy. Okay, good job, dude. You're so good at that. All right. Um, hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode. This is fun. Um, we are in Oakland. We are in the one and only Oakland Coliseum, whatever it's called now, Ricky Henderson field.org i don't know hey what's up jp jp crawford makes that catch right in front of me actually really cool story um when i was in seattle for the last three games of the season games 160 161 and 162 um, playing the angels after the mariners made a super cool comeback game on the october 2nd game um which was the second game of that series um we were outside on Occidental Street. If you're from Seattle or if you've, you're familiar, um, it's this little street where a bunch of vendors are, like all along the side of Lumen Field where the Seahawks play. And uh, Kayla and I, were, we were just looking for a place to eat um, along in one of those food trucks, and we weren't really having any luck. Um, and so we were going to go get some lime scooters, um, those little like scooters that you pay for or whatever that you can, you know, you can fart around the town on. And uh, sure enough, um, I'm sitting there. I'm standing there as Kayla. Oh, was that just off the wall? That doesn't count as a home run. Oh, it has to be way over the wall. Okay, fine. Anywho, um, uh, so I'm just like standing there. Kayla's like on her phone, like trying to download the app to get the. Oh, wow. 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 Hey, I'm in the middle of a story here, Mr. Pitcher, man. Dalton Jeffries, rude. Um, Anyway, she's she's not really paying attention. I see this guy roll up, uh, kind of coming across me, going across the street um, in a lime on a lime scooter, and I notice he has like dreadlocks with like the shaved side of his head. They're pulled back, and he has like kind of a beard. And I'm like, hey, that's J.P. Crawford. And so uh, he comes by, and I go, what's up, J.P.? And he's like, hey, what's happening, man? And then he keeps going by, and then I believe his fiance was right behind him. They were probably going to the, like their hotel, wherever they wherever they live during the uh, during the season when they're in Seattle. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That was my J.P. Crawford story. I met him, and then I think later on that night, I'm not a hundred percent sure of it, um, but I think I saw Paul Seawald, Mariners' um, um, eighth inning, ninth inning uh, closer guy. He's awesome, dude. Awesome pitcher. Um, he blew a few <laughs> blew a few uh, opportunities here and there, um, and safe. Yes, my run counts. My run counts, baby. All right. Um, um, but I'm pretty sure where we went to go find the the lime scooter that we wanted, because um, you like they're on the map, and we went we went and found the one. It was right outside an Embassy Suites, and sure enough, this guy comes out, and I swear it was Paul Seawald. And he was not looking super happy because he gave up a go-ahead home run to Jared Walsh, who is now Jared Walsh is my uh, – he's probably tied with um, David Fletcher as my most hated um, angels. I don't like either of them. They're both the new Cole Calhoun. I used to hate Cole Calhoun, and then he left. I still, like, not a super big fan, but when he was on the angels, I didn't like that guy. <laughs> All right, so David Fletcher and now Jared Walsh. For uh for their for him him being a stupid tryhard, and uh, making it difficult for the Mariners to win, and he did that on the last game of the season too. He hit a, he hit one as well. So uh, Jared Walsh, I don't like you, bro. All right. Anywho, anywho. Um. So yeah, I saw Paul Seawald. I don't think he seemed super happy because he gave up that go ahead home run, but we ended up coming back from him it, from it. So it was a super happy fun times after the game there. And uh, but he did not just seem to be having a super happy fun time himself. Okay. Oh uh, man, I that was a kind of a long-ish story here, and I have to play. Is this the first game? I don't even know. Is this the first game of this series? I believe it is. I believe it is, and it's only the fifth inning. So this is kind of a long one, huh? This is kind of a long daddy. All right, come on, here we go. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. We can go ahead and call that a 20th stolen base of the season, I believe. Yes, 20 stolen bases, baby. 
I've done that 20 whole times. All right, here we go. We are going to squash this threat. They have two runners on, but two outs. Bottom of the fifth. Ain't happening, Mr. A's. Oh, 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 JP. Yes, that's right. I said hi to you while you were on a scooter. That's my JP Crawford story. All right, here we go, dude. Come on, Rulo. Come on, Rulo. Let's play some add-on. I've been smacking it everywhere. I just haven't hit one over the fence yet. Oh, this one might. This one might. It's at least off the nothing. His glove. Boo. Boo. Bad. Bad thing. Don't like it when those sorts of things occur in my life. Thank you very much. All right, Ramon Laureano, Mr. P.E.D. Arm himself. Um, I really like Ramon Laureano. It sucks that he got popped for P.E.D.s, um, but it makes sense why he could make 320-foot throws from deep in left center field all the way to first base and double up people. Um, that's why he did that, because of steroids. All right, oi! Oh, uh, kind of golfed that one. Maybe it'll go and out of his glove, but it didn't. And so now I'm angry about it, even though I have a bunch of hits. I think I'm three for five. No big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that dub. Easy, easy dub. Easy dub for me. Easy dub for you. What you going to do, Oakland A's? Nothing. You ain't going to do nothing about it. You ain't going to do nothing about it. All right? Let's go. We are going to sweep the A's. I'm calling it now. I'm just going to say that right off the – right off the not right off the bat, I guess after you know, the first game. We're going to sweep them. I just feel that confident, you know. I think I'm going to hit at least three more home runs in the series total, probably more, hopefully more. Uh, but I want to say, oh, wow, look at all the foul ground. He's literally running – They're like they could have played – the Raiders could have played football just in foul territory at this freaking Coliseum, man. So much. And I, 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 I know that they actually do did play football here. RIP to the Oakland Raiders. Hello, Las Vegas Raiders. They got a sick stadium if you've ever seen it. Just looks like this big menacing hockey puck in the middle of the little the Vegas Strip. Not in the middle of the Vegas Strip, just near it. Uh, but, yes, um, I'm literally talking about you could play a full football game, professional football game, just on the foul territory. I just I guarantee it. No, I don't guarantee it because, I mean, like, I haven't gone out there and measured everything. But, like, you know, may maybe some, like, grid kids or something like that. I don't know. We get some little kids out there playing flag football. It's more than enough. Dodger Films could probably play some pickup flag football in foul territory here at the Ricky Henderson Field. All right? I think that's a thing. And, oh, I almost lived out my dream of smacking the pitcher in the face. How close was I? I don't think I was that close. But um, let's wait till things settle down here and then oh is he coming at me is he gonna come fight me bro do you want to fight me dog you want to fight me bro he was coming right at me like i did that on purpose did you see that he was stepping right to me i think he wanted to fight i think he wanted to fight me let's see why would he want to fight me after i almost killed him like this uh oh that wasn't even close dude come on dude i think he wanted to fight me though you think he did I really do. I think he did. He did it. He did it. All right. Anyways, good job backing everything up. Good job. That's what you're supposed to do, little pitcher guy. But I swear, he wanted to fight me right there. He was like, whoa, whoa. That's how you want. Now I want to fight him. Now I want to fight him. What's that? How come sometimes it's in fast motion, sometimes it's in slow motion? Can someone explain that to me in the comments? I don't get it. Whatever. Three to nothing. Uh, but they got some runners on, and then they're probably going to make me throw at home. Hopefully it's a shallow. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to throw them out of home. I'm throwing them out of home. I'm throwing them out of home. Here it comes. Yes, that was a good throw. That was such a good throw. Get him. Yes, yes. Woo, got him, got him. Uh. Oh, baby, that felt so good. Hold on a sec here. I got to I got to go back to the replay for that one. We got to go back to the replay. Oh man. This I mean, guys, this is thumbnail material. Here we go. I called it too, man. Here we go. Did that even Did that even Okay, here it comes. Ooh, right there. Right there. 
Here we go. Yes, look at that mean looking. Ooh, did I janitor throw it too? Yes, fell on the ground. But let's check out what happened at home here. Let's check this out. Oh, oh, doesn't get any more. I threw a strike. I let him right into it. Yes, finally, out at home. Got him, got him. Oh, my cannon prevailed. I have a cannon for an arm, and I finally did something good with it. There it is, right there. That's the play. That's the play of destiny, really. I mean, honestly, that's the play that everybody wants. Here we go. Let's set this up so you can see me on the ground way out there. And the ball is a-coming. The ball is a-coming. Yeah, that's a cool shot right there. Between the legs, y'all like that? Y'all like to see that bum-bum? Y'all like to see that bum-bum? Or do y'all not like to see that bum-bum? I don't care. We're seeing that bum-bum. And it's in his thing, and he is out. Tagged him on the face. On the face. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. He saw... Oh, did I actually swipe it through his face, I wonder? Skaboosh. No, nope, just through his arm. All right. Cool. Awesome. Love that. Love that. Felt good. Here we go. Let's keep it rolling. We still got to win this game. We still got to sweep like I said we were going to. And I'm going to go ahead and come on back here. And boop. Right there. No big deal. No big deal. It's not a big deal to just catch a fly ball, man. It's so easy, dude. Now, throwing people out from home, that took me literally like uh, almost 150 um, episodes to do that. I think this is probably episode like 149 or something. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Took me 149 episodes to be able to throw someone out at home plate, as I don't remember doing it before. I don't remember getting that excited about it anyway. Um, but yeah, they still got that big old fat goose egg. And oh, get over his head. Oh, I thought it would maybe Jose Canseco off his face over the wall. That would have been neat. That would have been probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. Seth Brown. All right. Really boring name. What's your name? Seth. What's your last name? Brown. All right. I'm going to go take a nap now, dude, because uh, your name literally put me to sleep. Thanks. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Only a few more outs to go here. And... Uh, there you go. You see, look at this. Bottom of the ninth. They're threatening. Ooh, it's a tying run at the plate. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hit it right to me. No! Throw it back home. Throw it home again. Eek, eek, eek. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? No, I can't do it again. Oh. But I hopefully we still got the dub. Yes, we still got the dub. Still got the dub. No big deal. All right. All right, let's play the last game in this series, this three-game series. We're going for the sweep. I told you I called it, but I did say that I was going to hit at least three more home runs, and I don't think I hit a single one in that game. <laughs> so that means I got to hit three in this one uh, to stay true to my word, which uh, I usually try to do. It doesn't always happen, but I'm going to try, okay? So here we go, starting with this right here, Zach Gallen. Yeah! Oh! No, got too far under that one. Too under that one. That thing was up in the air for like 800 years. Man, whole civilizations have been built and crumbled in that time that that plop fly was in the air there. All right, Rulo, let's go. Hey, okay, okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on, Rulo. Stop clapping. I have 20 stolen bases first. I want to get first in every single stat except for, like, errors and being caught stealing. I think that be that those are things you don't want to lead the league in, but all the good things. I want all the good things. I want to lead the league in all the good things. All right. So it's the fourth inning. This game's kind of going fast. I still got to hit three dingers. That's not going to do it, but that is a nice little gap jab. Right there, it's going to be a triple. Triple for sure. Get in. There. Yes. What's up, Matty Chaps? How you doing? Say hi to your mother for me. Uh, Matt Chapman is actually kind of from sort of near where I work. I work in Irvine, California. And he's from, like, Lake Forest or, like, a 
Aliso Viejo, somewhere South County, South Orange County. So there you go. We're basically best friends because of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, still the fourth inning. Wow. All right. Here we go. Robert Poisson. Poisson. I wonder if Poisson wants to eat a croissant. Croissant and Poisson are two really fun um, words, things to say in a French accent. Poisson, Poisson, whatever. Croissant, Croissant. You know, it's all it's all good and good and fun. And there's a runner on base right now. I'm looking to make it three to one. Um, I only got nine dubbies. I need more dubbies. Every time I go for a double, I'm like, nah, this is gonna be a triple, baby. Excuse the burpage. Excuse my burpitude. Oh wow, he got caught right there at third, advancing like a like a like a doof in a stoop, as Bob as Bobo would say. And this guy has really high tight pants. Who does he think he is um, from the 90s? Is he a 90s guy? I don't know. Most likely. I think most players um, were born in the 90s. Um, that was crazy a couple years ago when the first player to be born in 2000 was drafted. That was nuts. That was nuts, dude. All right. We are still tied here. Um, I need to steal a base. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Stop fouling, bro. Come on, come on. Don't pay attention to me. Don't pay attention to me. Don't pay attention to me. Yes, stole it. Stole the base. And it's out. Okay. All right. Whatever, bro. Whatever, dog. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Take all the risk. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this thing, bro. <sighs> All right, it's one to one, one to one, one to one. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yahoo! All right, get it back in. Yes. Okay, cool. Can I have another at bat? Yes, thank you. I would enjoy a ding dong right now. Come on, come on. Here we go. This is happening right now. Oh, yeah. That's got to be, that's got to be a run. Yes, I gave us the lead, baby. <laughs> Woo, okay. Okay, here we go. Look at that. He's shook. Shook AF, bro. And I'm probably out there. Nope. Safe. No. How is that possible, dude? Oh, look at this. Look at this. We're just piling it on. Piling it on for the sweep. Come on. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, what was the point of even running? That thing went into the the green abyss that is foul territory at Ricky Henderson Field here. Oh, 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 I got it. I'm fast, dude. Safe. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, brah? What's up, brah? Yeah, dude. Okay. Six to one. Top of the ninth. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Did that hit him in the face? That hit him? Oh, and it was a bad throw because he got hit in the face. I think that hit him in the face. Come on, please let that have hit him in the face. Oh, I hope that hit him in the face. I got to check that replay. Hold on. Look at this one. Look at this one. It wasn't me that did it, so I'm kind of jealous. But uh, actually, let's go to all all runs. Let's go. Um, wait, what is this? No, no. I want, I want me. I want me. Didn't I? Are they seriously not going to have it? Who was the guy that was batting? I don't even know the guy that was batting. Mariners. Runs, not runs, errors all. Let's just go all. Uh, Rulo chopped to the catcher. And Nunez, okay, so that was him. All right, here we go, deflected. Hold on, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where did it hit him? Oh, it hit him right in the, almost looked like it was gonna hit him in the butthole. Wow, that hit him twice. That hit him twice. I went doink off his thigh and then right off that. Oh, yeah. You're going to need Tommy John on your non-throwing hand after that one there, bud. And look at that. He was so shook. He couldn't make a two-foot throw, and I ended up scoring. So there you go. If you guys like this video, this was a long one. If you made it to this, if you made it this far, go ahead and comment, um, I farted. If you made it this far, comment, I farted. And we'll see you in the very next Rulers Road to the Show. Later.